I'm so proud of San Diego. I'm so proud to have uh, Alec here. This is the second time in 2010 Alec was here, and I was the chair of that convention as well. But uh, we have legislators. I think we have over 400 legislators from all over the United States, state legislators coming here, and we get to show off our great town and our great community. Um, what do you think Alec uh, means for California legislation? Well, look, uh, Alec takes on uh, difficult, complicated issues and yeah. offers free market solutions because legislators right. exchange, that's why the name is American Legislative Exchange Council, right. we exchange ideas. So yeah. things they're doing in Florida and they're doing in Maryland, they're doing in North Dakota, uh, we look at those as possible solutions for California. We've had several bills, I don't know them off the top of my head, right. that were ALEC ideas that were passed in Sacramento. Oh, really? Free market ideas uh, uh, attract people from all walks of life in both parties. Yeah, they just simply don't like free market ideas, okay. and there's a naysayer in every crowd. And unfortunately, right. they use their voice to squash everyone else's voice. We believe the more voices at the marketplace, more voices in the legislature, the better the ideas, uh, the, the more common the solutions. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why we credentialed you is because you're part of the far right wing conspiracy and we knew that it would be safe with you. That's right. The, all those secrets would be safe with you and you would not put them up on the web. You know what? I, we can't yeah. respond to every whack job in the world that has all these kooky ideas. No one says this about George Soros. Nobody says this about all the left wing groups. Right. I'm sorry. You know what? Yeah. Uh, every legislator, we're nonpartisan. We have Democrats, we have Republicans, we have independents that are members of ALEC. I would suggest that they should send their legislator to join ALEC and attend all the meetings because we don't have a litmus test. They would be welcome and invited. And if they okay. feel that's the case, then they should take it to the public. But I've been a member of ALEC for nine years. Yeah. That's not been the case. Uh, uh, despite all the crazy uh, uh, accusations, here, Ken, you are, and ALEC, filming. I'm yeah. sorry, that doesn't fit the narrative. Okay, but I am allowed to attend plenary sessions and workshop sessions, but not, uh, you know, networking or, or a private room, you know, get-togethers. Uh, uh, that, that is apparently well, where, that's where true of every, theoretically, what stuff is done. NCLS and some of the other organizations, yeah. do they have the same policies? So that's not uncommon, that's very common. You I can't see. have a press person in the bathroom with you when you're using the urinal. <laughs> so I'm sorry, uh, it's not, uh, and by the way, when you, when you are trying to, uh, although I've not been yeah. part of a conspiracy, I would think that when you have a conspiracy, you don't want the press on the premises at all. Right. You know, in politics, there are no secrets. It's only a matter of time before they become public.